That's right. I am. Are we are we talking about it right now? Are we saying Well, it? why not? Like it's a it's an interesting topic and I guess everything is related. So shortly like well, what what are you planning to start here in Finland and then uh, how it's reflected to Bali? <laughs> well, I first of all um I've always as I said wanted to find an option that would support my job, which is basically being an influencer, being an artist. Um you know it's been hard to find something but now finally i have found the option never seen before um i am going to be studying to be an influencer i'm going to get a degree on being an influencer which is crazy it's yeah it's just i feel like it's going to raise up influencers level a lot more and the respect for influencers a lot more and i'm going to be learning everything i need to know to keep doing what I do and I am just so 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 grateful and excited that's that's awesome and I can I can also tell because uh, I'm also involved with this um these uh, study programs so that uh everything is related and your summer school in Bali you can uh, get those studies accredited to your degree which is great so you are not of course wasting your time at all but instead is uh you are uh, able to enjoy the life there and seeing uh this magical uh, asian island and still get those credits to your degree so that's pretty cool so excited i'm so excited yeah. so uh let's talk more about um bali as a destination so you have never been there right nope but it's been on my bucket list for a while yeah Very did you know that it's part of indonesia I did that I did. <laughs> Great. That's a good start already. Like not all the people when they hear about Bali they kind of come to think that it's the fourth biggest uh country in the world in size in terms of like the population and the sixth most spoken language and stuff like that. Well, yeah. I I didn't know those things before you told me, but now I know. Yeah, and uh, I think it's like in anywhere you need to go to the place to see it yourself and really understand how it is. And I can tell I've been there quite some times because we have had many students going, and it's a very popular study abroad destination. And you will love it for sure. It is um, probably some similarities than in uh, other ex- exotic destinations, like you have been living in Mexico a lot, and and so. But I guess there's so much differences and a very unique place. That's anyway. why. I'm- that makes it also like maybe easier to and maybe <laughs> makes me so happy because i really miss mexico so going to bali mm. like a bit of taste of mexico but it's a whole new place and what mm-hmm. i've been seeing about bali i've been following actually a few influencers that live there for a while now and i just see their life every day and i'm like i need i need it i need it right now i watch mm-hmm. like and there's snow and i just i need it but also what i've heard is that as for, for example why people like to go studying there it's because you know students don't make a lot of money but it's actually not really expensive to live a good life over there and if mm-hmm. you only have a period of time to study you have no no issues no anything and what i've heard is also that it's easy even though you're in bali you have the whole world in there so you can find any type of food you want any type of places you want and probably people from all around the world so i'm also very you know it's very interesting to see all the different things bali can offer yeah well you seem to know actually pretty pretty much already and uh and i think it's always good to prepare yourself a little bit so the more you know what you are up to uh, the more you are getting out of it but of course uh let's not it's always good to have some surprises behind the corner otherwise it would get boring so you can never be too prepared but i i think this basic stuff that you mentioned that's good to get uh, an understanding and uh that's something also like uh, at age exchange we want to uh, prepare the students well in advance so that they can get everything out of it it can be the most meaningful experience of your whole life so far uh if you go out of your comfort zone but still like to the paradise environment yeah, and really challenge yourself yeah it's nice because because it's been so long since i've studied it's very nice that when i do it i get to do it in like such a beautiful place so i'm also just you know mm. enjoy life if I, i i don't know i'm just yeah i'm so excited it's all i can say <laughs> i'm just waiting 
so much. I wish Corona could end and I could just go now. Yeah, and talking about that, I think it's good to share for the uh, followers. We might have some students who are actually about to go uh, this autumn semester to Bali. We have hundreds of people who have applied, and they have been, of course, worried that uh, when does the borders open, when is it, it is possible to get the visa. And now we actually have heard from the government that they are planning to open for tourism in, in July and uh, for student visas in August this year. Uh, so let's hope everything evolves very good way. And at the moment, they are giving uh, vaccinations for everybody in Bali. And the Indonesian government is trying to kind of make uh, Bali to open as the first area of Indonesia, because it's obviously like the very important for Indonesian tourism as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But let's hope uh, everything goes well and uh, there's not big new waves coming and the vaccinations will be distributed, not only in Bali, but everywhere in the world. And Exactly. We could get uh, again uh, able to start a more normal life. Yeah. I, yeah. I... <laughs> hey, uh, some some more things about uh, like um, Bali still. Um, so, uh, what what kind of expectations like at this point? I know you have many things on your bucket list and many things on your table at the moment, but let's assume that we would be one year from here 2022 spring and then the summer is coming closer and your semester or your studies approach so how would you think what what are your expectations what you would like to gain of of the experience oh my god of course a lot of growth personal growth again um but then just i mean of course i'm going to learn what i'm supposed to be learning you know with the courses but also i just want to meet new people i want to I don't know, just gain new experiences so I can talk about them to my kids when I'm older. And so I can tell my friends that maybe are thinking, you know, going abroad, I can be like, yo, I just went here and it was like this and this and this. And I just hope it's all in all a positive experience, which I'm pretty sure it will be. And that, you know, maybe get two or three friends so that I can just have an excuse to visit Bali again every now and then. <laughs> exactly. Well, that is a war word of warning. Uh, usually when I meet international people in Bali, very rarely they are the ones who are there first time. They say, yeah, I've been here many times before, or I've been here for two months already. So that is that kind of place that draws you back. Like, that's one part that's of it. That, and it's a good example that it's a great place. That's what happened in Mexico. And I stayed there for nine years. So um, <laughs> let's see what happened in Bali. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, but um, most likely you will not be alone. There is friendly locals, of course, and an island of 4.5 million people. But there's also lots of international people from all around the world and also in our study program. And I guess there might be some followers now, for example, in this life that are not to not not uh, see that as a bad idea to come and maybe join <laughs> join you there if they have a chance as well. And everybody has a chance, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So uh, about the uh, study program itself, so there is uh, like a couple of universities. There is a full semester program or even the full year that you can spend in Bali. And then, of course, these shorter summer programs. And this one that you are taking part, it's called Varmadeva International Summer Exchange. So <laughs> wise. It's a wise decision <laughs> that you have taken. So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what what do you think, like, at this moment, the university is planning to include also some influencer-related or sustainable ecosystem-related courses into the summer program? So if you could decide, if you would be, the let's say, the rector of the university, what kind of uh, courses you would include in that area for this program? Well, I think I could answer the influencer one because I am an influencer. <laughs> um, I think, of course you know, basic business and like that type of stuff, but also maybe something visual because an influencer's job is very visual. You know, we're on the gram, we're taking pictures, we're posting everything. And some, usually we also have like clients, brands that want promotions on our sites. So maybe something that would help us, you know, even like graphic design or just a basic photography course, something like that, that would give you you know, an idea of, of how to make good content and how to make it, how to make your page look good and how to, 
give the best you can to your followers because everything and everything does 90 percent of our job is visual you are very right and i think those are great ideas and i promise we can take this forward and maybe you will get your name to the you know okay. credits of the program hey <laughs> you were part of the designer of the program so but yeah you are very right and i would say uh bali is maybe one of those how do you say it instagram photogenetic Yes. Yeah, so you can really get like good shooting there, but uh, of course somebody would need to edit those pics and uh, utilize them in the best way. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Very practical approach for the courses. Yeah. All right, uh, so uh, that's a good thing. And um, if we if we think about a little bit about we already discussed about going outside of your comfort zone and facing the new and learning from the world, but also learning of yourself. So you are very young, still 19 years old, but you have maybe experienced much more than many 39 years old. Like I know some people who are that age, but uh, if you would have not left your home or going abroad, have you ever imagined what, how your life would be at this point? without those experiences? I don't know, because only the, like when I meet people that have lived in the same city their whole life and they're my age and I'm like, so when are you moving out? And they're like, I oh, know, I want to stay here forever. It just, it makes me crazy. I just, I love moving. And if I'm in the same house for more than a year, I need to move around the stuff at least like every five months. So it looks like a new place <laughs> because I just love <laughs> going new places and meeting new people and you know just moving because I feel like I mean I don't know I feel like I'm a person that's not meant to be in the same place all the time so maybe you are like that. I, I, I don't know I I'd go crazy um <laughs> I don't really know of course I'd probably be a very different person much more close-minded than when I am now um I'd probably have much simpler dreams maybe I'd be a bit scared to even dream about some of the things that I dream about um mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't speak Spanish and English as good as I do I wouldn't but you would speak perfect Finnish this yeah. uh, would... secret code language <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great but I, uh, I don't know I'd probably be a bit very different person than what I am maybe because I'm also a very open person. I love social moments. I'm, I don't get social anxiety. I love meeting new people. There's mm -hmm. a place where people put me in and I'll make friends with everyone. Maybe if I've lived in the same place my whole life, I'd probably have friends that I met when I was young and just like, you know, the same people my whole life. Maybe mm -hmm. I'd be not so good at social moments. I would be a bit bad about meeting new people. And maybe I wouldn't be... So comfortable in uh, being an influencer in front of the camera because I wouldn't never know what to say because I've always seen, lived in the same place and you know life has been very yeah. square. So I'm just I'm yeah. so that my mom was kind of crazy when I was younger and decided to move out with just me being three years old because it has made me who I am now. Yeah. So you mean Johanna is not crazy anymore at all? <laughs> We're all a bit crazy in this world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right well i cannot only like uh say every single word you said is true also in my opinion and uh and thinking a little bit back when i was still a student i went to study when i was at the university uh, first to greece and uh then that was the moment when i realized that hey there's also life outside of finland as well and cool people and new friends from france and germany hungary and so on and then I heard about this chance to go to study in China, in Shanghai. That was like 15 years ago already. But that was life-changing and it really made you understand that how big, vast world it is and how big things are happening in Asian countries and how everybody should experience this. That is real eye-opener and can really change your life. So that's basically was the kind of the start of uh, becoming also an entrepreneur and establishing this company and helping other people to experience the same. And then finally meeting my nowadays wife and uh, everything in Thailand, even though she's from Finland, from the same city, but we never met here, needed to travel other side of the world. Hello. So 
I can only say that everybody, it, it can have, at least it can be the best experience of your study years at minimum, but it can be life-changing if you go abroad. It, it will be, it is. I yeah, agree. very true. Uh, so, um, and one thing, one kind of a detail from the uh, survivors was that uh, in the last episode, you said that you had never really liked apple pie in your life so far but then you won this one one challenge and what happens after that yeah so um my whole life i've hated apple pie because i don't know i like apples when they're hard but not when they're all soft and warm um but you know when you're in the forest for a few weeks with no food uh basically you you eat anything um and so we we got to visit the other gang's island and we had a coffee party we had coffee and apple pie and that apple pie tasted so good i'm getting water in my mouth right now it tasted so good and since i came back i have liked apple pie so that's okay. it you try new things you might find something that you actually really like you think your whole life you don't like something you try it once and it changes your life apple pie exactly have you tasted apple pie after you came back from, from the island? I have, and it, it is great. I mean, of nice. course, there's some that aren't that good, but the, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't know it before, honestly. Nice. Well, that's a good example, concrete example, how you get new perspective and start to appreciate things back home if you are out of, out of your comfort zone for a while. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what else I would like to get? I think there's... Uh, people also, of course, who are now joining, uh, interested to hear that what what is this all up to about? And uh, uh, to give it re very briefly, so Yualin has decided to go to study in Bali for a couple of weeks, and that will happen in Bali, in Indonesia at Varmadeva University in 2022. I think, by the way, uh, the start of the semester was July 11th. What happens July 12th? Uh, my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I guess we need to throw some kind of an opening party and combine that with your birthday party then. Oh. Or what do you think? Oh. Yeah. Have to. yeah. So uh, the plan is to invite uh, uh, also other young people who are interested in the program to join join this program and uh, or other programs in Bali or elsewhere in Asia and uh, and uh, get together and have the best time of our lives and uh, very educating but also lots of fun so that's I think that's what the whole life is uh, about in a, in a big picture of course and uh, yeah I think uh, uh, many followers probably also have experience studying abroad I don't need to tell or we don't need to tell why why it is so great but many most of the people actually don't go abroad even they have a chance so let's say in western countries in europe and so it's uh, something like 10 to 20 percent of the university students who usually uh, spend a semester abroad even though everybody has a chance for it everybody i have met who have been abroad they say that that was a very good decision so how do you see uh, what we can do in order to change this so that more people would decide to go abroad I think even just Corona is going to help us because now that we've all had to be home, once we can all travel, everyone's going to want to travel. And also I have a lot of friends that want to travel, but then they're like, no, because I have to study and stuff like that. This is the perfect option. You study and you travel, you experience. Mm -hmm. What better way to, you know, do both at the same time. Yeah. And at the end, you you can you can easily come up with excuses why I cannot do something or uh, why should I, I go to study abroad and so on that, that I have a girlfriend boyfriend and uh, or dog or something like that or uh, rental agreement but everything all this can be fixed and uh, you can take your boyfriend or girlfriend with you <laughs> if, or even friends or whatever so those are just excuses and you shouldn't kind of let go of the dream of going abroad because of these kind of reasons. It is possible to fix, of course. 
And that's something that also the employers appreciate a lot. Like if you can show in your CV that I have studied abroad, I challenge myself, I learned new language, I met, got to know all these new people from all around the world. Of course, they appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Someone just said in the comments that their, their time, what was it? Their time as an exchange student. Yeah, my exchange in Finland was the time of my life. <laughs> okay, that. somebody was an exchange student here in Finland. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there is. We have uh, quite many exchange students from uh, abroad in Finland as well. And uh, I, I know many people who have ended up staying here because they came to study here. Maybe they find their significant other. It can happen in everywhere. And I'm happy that uh, also there is more and more Asia exchange babies in this world already. So people have met each other while abroad and, you know, have family nowadays. So what could be better than that? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know about, uh, and I uh, know usually people don't make that good plans uh, that, okay, that is something I want to achieve of my semester abroad. And I want to find somebody and start to make baby. <laughs> but at least you can prepare yourself by can do there what is uh, like unique there uh and that's why that's how I think what i'm interested about and what i can get the most of this experience out mm -hmm. of and uh i i i happen to know that also you uh and your friends and uh um, people around you are interested in doing um many things around entertainment and uh music industry uh, not only in Latin America and Europe, but maybe in Asia as well. And I think Bali is a great, great destination for that as well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that's something you can also take forward when you are in Bali to check out the places there for that. Hopefully, yes. So, uh, hmm, anything you would like to still ask, Yualin, from... Uh, about about your ex upcoming experience or we still have lots of time for the yes, semester that's there that's but i think i hate to hear that there's a lot before i don't know i'm just i guess as you said it's better not to know too much um mm -hmm. i i know a lot now i've been investigating and i know a lot and i'm just i just can't wait so um i don't really know is there anything you think i should know well, of course, there is like a small tips and tricks every, everywhere. But I guess, uh, like you said, let's not reveal everything in advance. But uh, what I can tell already is that no matter what questions you or any student who would like to go abroad might come up with, we, we are happy to help and answer those. And there is also going to be a, like a series of webinars where we are having students who have studied there or are studying at the moment in Bali or in Korea, Thailand, Malaysia, or Latin America, in Mexico, or Costa Rica, and, and so on. And happy to answer any questions that students might have. So I guess that's something that a recommendation for anybody who now might be thinking that, yeah, maybe I could go abroad. It doesn't need to be necessarily like our destinations, but whatever destination, we might give you some food for thought in these webinars. So... Maybe people can start to follow follow uh, the social media channels and uh, hear when we are having the next webinars coming up. So anyone here watching that is interested in coming to study um, with me or just coming going to study abroad, um, now you know where to go. Yeah, exactly. And also, uh, that's, that's like the short-term study programs. But if somebody is interested in doing the whole decree, so that's possible in Finland especially and... Uh, that's also the program that uh, I guess you are open for getting some friends there as well and uh, get to know like lifelong friends in, in this influencer program that you are taking part. I am. So yeah, guys, come study with me. What are you waiting? <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, very good. So uh, mm, let's uh, hope that uh, people can go and start to fulfill their dreams, no matter if it's degree studies, if it's a shorter semesters of pro or summer programs. Uh, the whole world is open. Uh, you don't need to stick in your home country only. You can go abroad. You can still return back to your home country or even find a home from a 
totally new country. And what is the best part of it? You are not only getting the education, but it's the friends, it's the life-changing experiences. And I guess that's something you, you all in also are not against at all to kind of find those lifelong friends from from your fellow student mates. Yep. Hi, you. Um... So uh, I think we have now covered the topics that uh, I wanted to hear from from you and. Uh, if the final final thing would be that uh, like how, how, is it possible in your opinion to combine your situation that you are an influencer and you are building your already good career in entertainment and then still combining that with studies and going abroad and how, how will you manage all that of course it is because i'm going to be studying to do what I already do, but to do it professionally. So I'm going to be getting exactly. a degree on being an influencer, which is which sounds crazy, but it's going to happen next year. So whoever here is interested, being an influencer and getting a degree on it, you know, when your mom's like, no, you can't do this because you've got to get a, a degree. Well, now that's possible. So, yeah, come join me. Exactly. All right. Uh, the, so the final words would be that if you would need to put it in a coconut shell, that what would you like to say for anybody considering should I or should I not go to study abroad? You should. You should go. It's going to change your life. It's going to change you. Okay. Was that too much? Just yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very small coconut shell, but yeah, exactly. That's short and sweet. Thank you, Joel, and I want to really hat off. Thank, thank you for your time, and it's great to have you in this life. And uh, more will be coming, also stuff about uh, your upcoming plans and studies and so on. So, people, you can still keep on watching us. And uh, yeah, on Asia Exchange's behalf, I want to wish everybody a sunny springtime or whatever time it is in your country stay safe and uh, let's get over this whole pandemic stuff and start yeah. to enjoy life stay safe and love you all thank you so much for joining uh nice to meet you whoever doesn't know me yet and yeah thank you for having me yeah thanks all right thanks. everybody bye bye, bye.